bass boats are the ultimate fishing machines. They look great, they're great for fishing, and they have incredible performance. But it's no secret that there can be a price tag that comes along with that. That is until now. In this power profile, we're gonna take a look at Skeeter's all new TZX 190. First introduced in 2012, the TZX line is Skeeter's value-priced, no-nonsense fishing package that still delivers the performance you expect from the brand. At 18 feet 5 inches, the 190 is the leader of this three-boat pack aimed at consumers who take their fishing seriously but don't need a lot of bells and whistles. To the untrained eye, there doesn't seem to be much to a bass boat, but you just have to look a little closer. Now the thing about the TZX line is that it may be Skeeter's affordable boat package, but the thing is they put the same dedication into this model that they do their top of the line series. And you can really see that when you open some of these compartments. You look, there's no exposed hinges and everything is completely finished. That's the type of quality you get with a Skeeter. All of the storage compartments are flush mounted and inside they are deep and spacious. Forward of the transom, there is even a large access to all the fluids and important systems. The rear casting deck offers lots of room for those high pressure tournament situations. This model is shown with the optional side console, which is merely a creature comfort. The glove box gives you a spot to toss wallets and cell phones. Next to the port side seat, there is a quick access rod storage with a retractable tie down for when you're on the go. To save wear and tear, the middle seat can be removed, revealing a non-slip step. The helm console on the TZX fits into the theme of this boat. It's simple and functional. You have lots of room to flush mount your electronics of choice, which will be flanked by two multifunction gauges. Rocker switches control your systems and tilt steering lets you get comfortable. Typical bass boat features include a trigger style trim switch on the wheel and hot foot gas pedal down below. These are for keeping both hands on the wheel when you're screaming down the lake. The bow casting deck on the TZX is a thing of beauty. Again, it may look boring, but watch how it swallows up a hockey bag full of gear. There's a cooler midship for those long days chasing the trophy, and another storage bin perfect for tackle forward of that. Of course, there's a base to mount the leaning post up here as well. On both sides of the bow deck, you will find retractable rod tie downs. At the bow, there's a troller motor bracket with plug-in, a spot to mount electronics along with a trim switch and a drained foot pedal well. But a boat like this isn't meant to sit at the dock, so I took it out and put it through its paces. A major feature on this 190 was the power. It had Yamaha's brand new 150 VMAX SHO outboard. This firecracker is the latest addition to the powerful and lightweight line of four strokes Yamaha first introduced in 2009. And not just any engine can have the SHO designation. It has to earn it. Along with that awesome sound comes incredible acceleration and mid-range throttle response. This is thanks to the 150's use of variable camshaft timing, which gives you a multitude of power when you put your foot down. I couldn't say enough about the TZX 190. It was a smooth running boat that stayed stable even when you aired it out. If you hit a bump and it started to walk, it would immediately correct itself and get back on track. The hull was quick to plane and when combined with the new VMAX SHO, flirted with the 58 miles per hour mark at wide open throttle. An awesome motor and an awesome package. Fast boats have always been those flashy high performance fishing boats, but for some they could always be out of reach. But now, thanks to this new TZX line, it brings performance and fishability into the reach of the average consumer. And it also doesn't hurt that it's now powered by the new Game Changer.